Welcome to the Catman Starter webinar, showing you how easy Catman software can be used for data acquisition with Espresso DAC from HBM. In the next couple of minutes, we'll connect and set up an Espresso DAC amplifier and display and store data. We'll use an Espresso DAC module DQ430 connected via USB to a notebook. Attached to the Espresso DAC are two force transducers and one full bridge strain gauge measuring micro strain. Both force transducers are equipped with TEDS, an integrated transducer electronic data sheet, which will set up our amplifier automatically. Only the strain gauge does not include TEDS, so this will be set up manually. After opening the Catman Starter software, you'll see a startup screen. Here you can choose to start a new measurement project, load a project you have stored in the past, or analyze stored data. We want to start from scratch and select New DAC Project. Immediately, the Catman software begins scanning and connecting all available Espresso DAC modules. These are shown in the channel list. The first tab in Catman Starter, called DAC Channels, provides a list of all the channels available on Espresso DAC. As you can see, our two force transducers configured automatically, including a channel name and set of parameters from TEDS, the Transducer Electronic Data Sheet. The live value shows that we are already measuring values in Newton. The TEDS technology makes the setup easy. Simply plug in your transducers and begin your measurement. This we call Real Plug and Measure. Only Channel 3, a string gauge, requires manual setup. It's a full bridge with 350 ohm resistance. We'll search for it in the sensor database. There it is. We'll assign it to Channel 3. And we're done. We should modify the channel name to make it something meaningful, so we'll name it Strain. Now we'll select all three channels and run a zero balance adjustment. Since we're happy with the standard measurement parameters like sample rate and start-stop conditions, we can start our first data acquisition by pressing the Start button. The next question asks us how we want to visualize or display our data. We select the default automatic, which gives us a scope-like view for our three channels, and immediately we can see data being acquired. Wasn't that quick getting the data on the screen? If you want to create your own display, you can create a new panel and add the display objects you desire. Let's take a strip chart and a digital display. By drag and drop, you can assign the channels you want to see. Notice that we can make all these changes while acquiring data. There's no need to stop the measurement to add channels or change the display layout. Once we're done with our measurement, we can just press the Stop button. Once the measurement has stopped, we can decide if we want to keep this data, and if yes, we can define a file name and format. We'll use the file name Webinar and save the data. Now that we've safely stored the data to disk, we've completed our measurement with Catman Starter. We saw how easy it is to set up the amplifier and display and store data. In addition to that, Catman Starter offers the following additional functionality. Creation of computation channels, defining measurement parameters, setting up sample rates and filter frequencies, graphical analysis of data, importing old data, and creating a report. Thanks for your attention and have fun and much success working with Espresso DAC and Catman Starter from HBM, where you can measure and predict with confidence.